On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one, a blessed and wonderful Thursday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So watch this now, my peeps. Less than a week into this new year, 2023. And Western Jamaica is definitely showing no signs of improvement as the criminal elements, the old dirty kind of boy them, continue to wreak havoc into the communities of Western Jamaica. A low knockings and clappings. The man them not give a rat's ass about what the government has implemented as it relates to illegal firearms. Them literally not care. It seems as if a death, doom and gloom spell hovers over Western Jamaica and it has taken over our young men. So watch this now, my peeps. We're going to kick it off over there in the Westmoreland Police Division where a 22-year-old man was taken out by Officer Yeoman Pick and Team during an alleged confrontation in Waterworks, Westmoreland. All of this took place on Tuesday. Now, the criminal element presently on your screen has since been identified as Shamari Hansen, otherwise called Sammy. He's from Goldsmith Lane in the community. The police states that this Taurus pistol affixed with a magazine containing two live 9mm rounds was seized in that knockings and clappings incident. Now reports from the Westmoreland police is that Officer Yeman Pick and Team, who was temporarily assigned to the Westmoreland Proactive Investigation Unit, was on mobile patrol duties in the Witan police area when they observed a man dressed in a blue pullover, blue jeans pants, blue slippers and this man was approaching them from the opposite direction. Upon the approach of the police unit that Officer Yeman Pick and Team was driving, Anson is said to have recognized Officer Yeman Pick and take himself into heavy bushes. But being the type of officer Officer Yeman Pick and Team is, they gave pursuit of this man into the hilly terrain where it is alleged that Anson did the unthinkable. The police stated that Anson fired several shots in their direction, I think in a bid to save his life, knowing fully well how well-trained Officer Yeman Pick and Team is. But those officers is definitely fearless and well-trained from the agriculture school in Portland, train off a plant can in a dirty boy tomok. So it is said that Officer Yeman Pick took evasive action in a bid to save his life and to protect the life of his colleagues and fired several shots in the direction of Hansen. And of course, Hansen was hit and injured. Now the Taurus pistol with the magazine containing two live 9mm rounds was reportedly retrieved from him. Now in a bid to save his life, he was transported to the Savannah Lamar General Public Hospital where he was pronounced, you know what, yeah man, once you challenge the squad of them, you are going to get dirt, a dirt settings, the squad of them depon. The squad of them decides, say, yo, me, I go home to my family and you can go back home to your maker. <laughs> yeah, man. So anyway, me could continue. Now, still in the parish of Westmoreland. 
It seems as if the Westmoreland Police Division had tried to outdo the St. James Police Division in these early days in 2023. Two men end up get caught up yesterday and another man injured courtesy of the old dirty corner boy them in an era called Betteltown in Westmoreland. All of this took place yesterday evening on a construction site. Now, one of the deceased has since been identified as this man presently on your screen, 48-year-old Les Barrett. He's of a Westmoreland address, while the other man is said to be from St. James. Now, the police reports suggest that sometime about 4.40 p.m., the men were at a construction site at a premises in the vicinity of the Betteltown All Aid School when a group of armed criminals entered into the yard. It is said that the gunmen opened fire indiscriminately at the construction workers before making their escape in the area. The police were summoned and upon their arrival, the three injured men were taken to the hospital where two was pronounced you know what and the other man admitted in very much serious condition residents reached out to on the spot news media and stated that mr barrett was a peaceful kind and loving individual who focused mainly on his masonry no my peeps on the spot news media did his checks and he found out that the intended target of that brutal knockings and clappings got away unharmed. So all three men, the two deceased and the injured men were all innocent bystanders. Trust me, my peeps. This rough. Yeah, man. Yeah, I tell you. These criminal elements continues to wreak havoc in these rural communities. No people sooner, people know who to be. So it's just a matter of time before you are brought to justice. And I hope that the justice that is meted out to you is the same injustice that you meted out to these regular members of Chan Public working their honest bread on a construction site. <laughs> yeah, man. So anyway, make we continue. So over there in the neighboring parish of Hanover, the Hanover police put on a decent spot of work yesterday. The Hanover police seized this Ruger 9mm pistol along with two magazines and seven live 9mm rounds during a targeted operation in the Green River area of Hanover. All of this took place yesterday. Two persons were arrested and charged in connection with the seizure and will now face a minimum prison sentence of 15 years behind bars. <laughs> yeah, man, may I tell you. So well done to the Hanover police. Kudos to you for take two criminal elements off the street and a decent fatmatic. <laughs> yeah, man. And now over there in the neighboring parish of Hanover, the neighboring parish to Hanover is well known. That is definitely that of St. James. The St. James Police Division has recorded its second knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of a man. Now over there in the Mount Salem section of the St. James Police Division, which is still one of the communities across western Jamaica that is currently still under the zones of special operation the Zozo. And knockings and clappings go on over there and a little man end up get dirt. That man has since been identified as 27-year-old Nicholas Clark, presently on your screen but popularly known in the streets as Kid. Now, it is reported that around 10.45 p.m., Nicholas was at home with his father when he went outside to fetch a bucket of water. Now, it is said that the man's father heard some knockings and clappings and went outside to investigate and found his son suffering from a portion of can up, can up wounds. The police were called into the scene. The injured man was transported to the hospital where he was pronounced, you know what. And as I stated earlier, this is the second loss of life to be committed in the St. James Police Division since the start of the year. But ironically, I have a voice clip from the young man's mother 
and I would like you to listen closely to what she said because she is now saying that she warned her son about the friends that he kept but he did not listen and this is the outcome. Now listen to what his mother has to say. At the call about 10, 30, 11. While I was I sell in the street, you know. Mm -hmm. I sell at Market Street. So I got the call from the father. So I was packing up my things to bring the goods them at the arcade. And then the father said, come up. I said, I can't come up at the moment, no. I said, anything happen, let the police deal with it. And I will come in the morning. And that's what I do. Several times I warned him about his friend then. <laughs> it's heartbreaking. I said, let go your friend them and keep yourself to yourself and do your work. He nice otherwise, but he don't listen to me. They're the worst thing in my life. That was the voice of the mother of the deceased man, 27-year-old Nicholas Clark. No, one can get a lot from what that grieving mother had just said. She has spoken to her son on numerous occasions about the friends that he keeps and to stay away from those persons. She said that she was a thorn in his skin, warning him about what could be his end. And she also stated that to him in his eyes, she was the worst thing. You know that there's a reason why the Almighty Creator gave us parents in such a fashion and not parents in a fashion like cats and dogs where as your eyes are open and you can walk you're literally on your own within a few weeks god gave us parents long-standing parenting for a reason because as young persons we are foolish and often misguided and we need the guidance of our elders, our parents, our caregivers to guide us along the right path. So I do implore on you, young men out there and young women, listen to your parents, especially if you can look within yourself and know that what your mother or father is saying is right. Experience, teach it, wisdom. They are around way longer than you are. So they have had a certain experience that you have not yet gathered. And because of that experience, why they can guide you along a certain path. So take heed and listen. Yeah, man. So anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.